Hey class, so today we are going to learn how to use, if you are absent, you're probably going to be watching this video, but you're going to learn how to use VexCode V5. Notice there's two icons on your desktop. One's called VexCode V5, one's called VexCode V5 text. We are not going to use text, we are going to only use VexCode V5. So double click on VexCode V5, and when you do, this is what's going to open up. Uh, you may even get this alert that says update is available. Uh, if that comes up, just dismiss. Do not update, just dismiss. All right, so we're going to learn how to program. I'm going to show you real quick the different parts of the software. So this is your work area right here where all the dots are. It says when started, it always starts with this orange when started. Okay, and then you have all of these options uh, and they're color core color coordinated. So you have looks, those are all purple. You have events, keep going, control, sensing, operators, variables, okay? And then there's an easier way to get to all that. You could click these little buttons and it automatically takes you to that particular list of commands. All right? So you can drag. You could try this if you like, but uh, the shapes have to match up, but you can drag these over just like this, and then they will um, snap into place. Also, you can grab these and move them. Once they're connected, they stay together. If you want them apart, you have to take them and drag them back over. All right. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is click on VEX Code Project. Go ahead and click on that. And what we're going to do is click Documents right there, and then highlight this and then just type in test. This is just going to be a test. This is just, just learning how to do this stuff. So make sure documents is selected and change it to text and click save. And mine says, hey, you already have one. I've already done this, so I have to replace it. You will not have to do that. All right, so here we are back in our work area. Uh, let me show you a couple other things. This is controller. If you click on it, nothing happens because we don't have a controller uh, hooked up. Here, the brains, notice how it's white right now. That'll change colors here in a little bit. It says there's no brains connected. Uh, all these are grayed out. We've got to share feedback, and then you have four of these icons right here. Let's click on the second one right here. This is the motor. So click on motor, and we're going to add a device. So click on motor, add a device, and then we're going to go down here. Notice there's 15 different devices that we can add. We're just going to add one single motor. So click on motor right there. And notice there are 21 ports that we could add a motor to. So let's, uh, I'm going to open up a camera here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. So it said that there were 21 ports. I'm going to show you what those 21 ports are. Here, you can look on your brains, but it has 1 through 10, 11 through 20, and then over here on the end, there's 21 right there. So there are 21 ports on this brain. On this brain, it's got a cover on it, and this cover has magnetic uh, corners that, that hold it into place. Okay, so you can pull this off. The whole purpose of the magnetic corners is to protect your uh, touch screen. This is going to be a touch screen. Okay, all right, so it says, we told it, let's go back to our software, and there are 21 ports, we're going to click in one here, and you could change this, I'm going to change mine to man's motor, you could change yours to anything you would like. Notice this is green, and the reason that's green is because on the motor, there's a green arc right there. So that's the type of motor we're using. So we can go back here, and it's always going to be green. Those are the only motors we have. You can normalize the, the direction or reverse it, and we're going to say done. And now, now that we have a motor set up, did you notice that over here we now have 10 more commands that came up because we had a motor? So what you're going to do is come back over here. <clears throat> when started, let's spin the motor. Mine's called man's motor. We're going to spin it forward and I want it to go for five seconds. So if I go down here to control, click on control, here is one that says wait one seconds. So I'm gonna pull that over there and I'm gonna drop it in. 
I want it to wait five seconds. So I want to click in that one, change it to a five. And after five seconds, I want the motor to stop. And so I come all the way back up to the top and here it says stop man's motor. I'm going to drag that over and place it there. So really what's happening is when it started, the motor is going to spin forward for five seconds and it's going to stop. And that's what I want. So let's put all of this together. This is how we put it together. So I'm going to take this guy right here. Remember, we put it in one. So there is one. So I'm going to place that and it clicks right in. Make sure it clicks and I can give it a little tug and it works. And the other end is going to go into my motor right here and it clicks and now it's held in. This guy, this connects the battery. Again, there's a little clip on it, so it should clip in. There it is. Give it a little tug. Make sure it's in. Don't pull too hard, but give it a little tug. And here's the other end. And I'm going to click this in. You can see where that goes. It goes in right there. The only other cable you have left is this guy. This is going to go into your computer. And the other end is going to go right here where we plug close to where we plugged our battery in. So right there, and that's plugged in. I'm plugging it into my computer right now. All right, so everything now is plugged in and ready to go. Go ahead and push this button and see if it turns on. If it does, we should be good. And we're going to come back to here. Now that our, uh, our brains is connected, did you notice that the brain up here in the top is now green? That's what we want. If I click on this, it says there's a VEX V5 that's connected to it, and that is good. Then right next to it, we're going to download, and it's going to say compiling user project, and then it's going to say download, right? Give it a second should say download user project and now it is downloaded and if you look on your um, brains right here I'm going to take the cover off you should have something that says run if you click on run and now you could see the motor went for five seconds and then stopped if we hit this button here it'll take you might have to hold it down a little bit and it'll take you back to that run. You can do it again. And there it goes again. Okay. And now, everything, you just programmed your first program. <clears throat> and now what you could do is come back over here and play around with it a little bit. Add some different commands and see if you can get that figured out. All right. Great job.